welcome back to another video uh if this is your first video welcome to my channel uh so today uh this is actually a first for me but i'm going to be frost seeding some clover into my existing clover plot um so i'll give you a little bit of a breakdown i planted this clover plot in the fall of 23 so this last fall before deer season i planted this clover plot and from my understanding clover doesn't do well its first year but it really takes off the second year um this plot actually did pretty well this year uh a, a lot of clover and then i filled in a bunch of the patches with winter rye some of the bare spots with winter rye so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and take this whitetail institute clover which is what i planted um i'm going to pour it in my little hand seeder and I'm having an issue deciding how heavy I want to go with seed. I don't think I'm going to go too heavy. Uh, and I'm going to focus most of the seed straight through the middle because I'm going to change this food plot up a little this year and I'm going to leave a border all the way around the edges to let grow up and thicken up and brush this in a little bit more. So if you don't know what frost seeding is, frost seeding is uh, basically throwing some seed down during the period of the year, like end of February, beginning of March, where uh, you have constant cooling, you, where you have constant freezing and then thawing uh, temperatures where uh, throughout the day it might be in the 40s, but at night it's in the 20s where the ground is constantly being frozen, thawed, and it works the seed into the ground. Um, I've frost seeded switchgrass before. I've never frost seeded clover. Uh, so hopefully, I'm really hoping this spring, you know, some of this seed comes up and then uh, you know, the existing clover really comes in good. Okay, so I don't plan on using this whole bag, so maybe I shouldn't have opened it like that. But uh, this food plot's a little bit more than a quarter acre, but after I downsize and, you know, leave some of the edges grow and let them grow up, uh, I'm going to say it'll be just under a quarter acre. So, uh, this bag says plants up to a quarter acre, so... I guess I'll probably use pretty close to all of it, but whatever. Okay, so I used bait about, I, I put about three quarters of the bag in here. You can see the seeds. I put about three quarters of the bag. I'm going to try and just use this and not get too carried away because I know once I mow the clover, and all the pods or whatever shoot off it should help it regrow. I don't know. We're experimenting. I've never done this shit before. So. All right, let's start throwing. So basically, I lied a little bit, and I think I'm going to use the whole bag. Okay, so I did end up using the whole bag, and basically what I did was uh, I, I seeded the middle pretty heavy. Um, and the thing with clover seeds is they are so tiny that even on the lowest setting with these things, it likes to throw them pretty heavy. But uh, I just kind of want to show you uh, the plot here, give you a close up of what it looks like and kind of the mixture of the clover and the rye. So here's probably a pretty good representation of how, I guess, equally it's distributed throughout the plot. We've got a lot of clover, 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 and then this area is a bunch of rye, clover, clover, but the whole entire plot is basically that way. And honestly, it, this plot has been hammered. Um, I mean, they have mowed it down 
tremendously. Um, it, it's actually quite unreal. Now, those of you, if any of you have seen any of my previous videos, uh, you know, when I was actually building this plot and starting to plan it, and all the ups and downs with this plot I had, because uh, the end of fall last year, it really did not look good after my initial clover planting. Um, but I just stuck it through, waited a little bit, and I decided to overseed some, uh, not overseed, I decided to throw some winter rye out to help fill in patches, and then about two weeks after my first doing of that, this, the clover just took off out of nowhere, but I had a really dry, I had a dry spell too, with no rain, so uh, after that rain, the clover really came up, but I would say this is pretty evenly distributed, like split between clover and rye, but the deer really love it. Hopefully this spring, it's almost completely clover. I think that would really up the, up the ante here with the plot. I've got a really good week coming up temperature wise, no rain, no snow, just a bunch of really cold nights and mid forties days. So I think that's gonna help this seed get warped into the ground. The only thing I am worried about a little bit is uh, if the seeds end up on these leaves, you know they're not gonna get into the not gonna get into the soil, but at least right here where I'm at, I'm not too worried about all this growing because I want this to grow up like I've said ten thousand times. Um, but no, I'm I'm pretty stoked with this, how it's all going. Um, I will keep you updated. I appreciate the watch. Uh, I do have another food plot I'm building at the house. You can go check out that series I started. Um, go check that out. I should be planning that soon. I'd like to frost seed it at least. Uh, maybe at a later date. But yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.